Hi, gorgeous. This is episode number 71. You are listening to Heart Sells Podcast, and I am your host, Christine Schlonsky. And I am so thrilled to be with you on this wonderful Variety Friday. So Variety Fridays are there to answer your questions, to share my knowledge, and to provide you with amazing resources, depending what we are going to discuss. And today I thought, you know what? I'm just going to give you a resource. And it is actually, it's a tool you can put in your toolbox. And you might be aware of it, you might not be, but the tool is called Choice. And before we go into it, I would love to invite you to join the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass, where I have gathered 20 world class experts, authorities in their industries who are ranking from Emmy Award winners through best selling authors, international speakers, and they all have one thing in common they're super successful. And they all did not have an easy way to get there. So if you want to be inspired, if you want to learn from these wonderful, heart-centered, driven entrepreneurs, come and join the masterclass by hopping over to christineschlonsky.com, find the tab Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass, and just sign up for the class. We are starting very, very soon on May 15th, and you will receive classes each and every day for 10 days so that you can learn, that you can implement, and then you can take your business and life to the next level. And I'm super, super passionate about that and excited about that. So I want to make sure that you hop on over to christineschlansky.com and please sign up, give yourself the gift. It's a free class that's even even the better news about that. And you can learn and give your gifts to the world, serve more, be more, do more, and then eventually also have more and, you know, go for your dreams. So hop on over christineschlonsky.com, find the tab Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass, put in your name and email, that's all you need to do. So today I want to talk to you about choice because choice is such an important tool um, to use. And often we might not be aware that no matter what we do in each and every moment, we do have a choice. So for example, if you are about to make a decision, you have a choice. You can say yes, you can say no, even not making a decision, like saying, no, I'm not going to decide right now is a choice and it is a decision because you haven't decided where to put your energy. So you are kind of in this space of non-decision, which is also a decision because it's not going to move you forward in any direction. So when you become aware that you can always choose, especially you can choose how you feel about things, how you feel, let's let's take the rejection part in your sales, right? Because it's such an important piece. And I know that so many heart-centered entrepreneurs get hung up on the rejection. And, and don't get me wrong, you know, I'm I'm not bathing into no's and enjoying no's very much. But I became really, really clear that it is a choice for me how I will react to the no, how my interpretation will be. It's a choice. So no for me means not now, right? So if I have a conversation with a potential client and they say no, then, you know, my job is to find out why they said no. Maybe I missed the point. Maybe my conversation wasn't clear enough so they could not see the full picture. Maybe they do not have all the information they need to make an informed decision. So it's always my job in a sales conversation to guide the person so that they have everything they need to make the decision, to have that choice. Because if they only have half of the information, right, they cannot make a good decision. And you wanna make sure that they can. And if you are the right person they need to work with, well, you want them to get the full picture because that is how they also could say yes to themselves 
because you, you know, you have the solution. So it's, you know, your job to show it to them, but it's not your job to decide for them, even though often we would love to do that. And we'd say, well, just do it. And then you, you know, your problems are taken care of because I have the solution. So being really aware that every moment, that everything in your life is a choice, the choice how you react to things, the choice how you feel about things. Are you getting into your next uh, drama or do you choose to feel differently by choosing emotions that actually help and support you, right? By seeing things in a different way. And I remember when when I was uh, in college, we had this one teacher. I don't remember a lot of his classes, but I remember that he was always taking like a prisma and, you know, to have different angles and to have different point of views to, to get the whole picture. And when you're so focused on yourself, then you can't see the other person and the other point of views. So it's all a choice how you feel about it. So let's go back to the no. Let's just say somebody says no to you. Well, now you have a choice. You can be totally upset. You can take it personally. You can decide that, you know, it's a stupid person or they they are dumb or, you know, whatever comes to mind. And you also can decide that, you know, it might not be the right product or service for them at this moment in time. They might not have all the information they need. You might not have explored all the different ways they could work with you or other ways they could work with you to get the support they need. And you know how you will feel about the no. So let's say you take it personally. At this moment, it's a choice, right? So you choose to get to receive the no as a personal no to who you are as a personal no to all of your work, as a personal no for everything you stand for. So if you decide to see the no like this, this is going to be hurtful. This will really drag your energy down. You might be sad or um, upset or frustrated or whatever. You will definitely be on very low frequencies because we are all energy. And, you know, like joy, gratitude, love, these are energies that have a really, really high frequency. So when you can stay in that state where you feel joyful, where you feel grateful, there's no place for these lower frequencies. And, you know, I, I'm quite sure you've heard that before, but it's like turning on a radio and a radio station, or maybe, you know, maybe that's and a comparison that's too old. Maybe you want to go for the internet. And, you know, if you don't have the right URL, because you don't know at the end if it's .com, .de, .fr for France or .de for Germany or, or whatever, UK, then you will get the, the message, you know, that the attempt has failed. So you will get the, the failure, the error message. And it's the same with your frequency. If you want to tune into the happiness, if you want to attract your tribe that, you know, has the highest quality of client you, you could desire, you need to show up that these people are attracted to that vibe, to that frequency of yours. So by making sure that you don't put in an interpretation that is probably not true because it's never really about us. It's always about the customer. So if you take the no personally and you, you know have it screwed up like your whole day, it will have a pretty big effect on your business and on your personal life. And I can tell you with all the thousands and thousands of cold calls I have done in my life, it's, you know, the no is still something that's difficult to chew, like difficult to understand because you come from this place of service, from this place of love. You know you have a um, something, your product that will support that other person. So please understand that they do not say no to you. They say no to themselves. They say no to the possibility. So they are shutting themselves down. 
And if you can stay in that loving space and just accepting that it is a no and still being open to a conversation, you might be surprised what can change when you change that attitude, when you stop, when you take make that choice and you don't, don't take it personally, when you just keep showing up and holding the space for the person, the space they need to grow to say yes to what you have to offer. So when I get a no, I always reframe it in my mind. So first of all, I figure out like, why is it a no, right? Is it the money? Is it the time? That's, you know, those are the biggest pieces, the biggest elements why people say no, right? They are fearful that they don't get the money back or that they have to spend too much time, that they can't follow through. If you already find a way of how you can take people through your services, through your products, how you can support them to save time, to be more efficient, to be, you know, happier, have more energy, get more done, that already solves part of the the issue. And then with the with the money piece, you know, I reframe it for me that if somebody says no and they're just not ready because they can't find a way to find the money somewhere, well maybe they don't want it bad enough. Maybe they are not there in their life where they're really at the point that they want to change. And if somebody doesn't want to change, I don't want them on board because if they work with me and they don't follow through, they are not committed enough, they will not get those amazing results, right? They will not write you a WhatsApp like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Um, You know, I made five figures this week because I put in your strategy and I just talked from my heart, right? You really need people that are committed. So it's always a choice. It's your choice how to react, how to act, and it's a choice of your potential client to make a decision. Your job is to lead them. And then whatever the answer is, not to get upset because it's not supporting you. So reframe, make that choice, set the intention that whenever you are in a client's conversation, you stay open, you try not to judge, And you listen, like listen deeply what they have to say, how they think, what they need. And then you can handle the situation so much better than when you already have everything like preset and ready to go, right? So you want to be open because everything in our life is a choice. It is a choice that you are listening right now. It is a choice that you want to improve your business and have a life you truly love. It is your choice to go for your dreams. It is your choice to, you know, do the work, do the personal development work. Everything is a choice. And being really aware of the tool that you can make a decision, a new choice each and every moment is so, so important. Because I know that I I didn't understand that I could make a new decision each and every moment, that I could say yes today and no tomorrow, that I do have the right to change my mind. That was like a huge learning for me. And you might be in the same place that you say, no, I committed, I promise, and I'm going to follow through. And, um, you know, there are two options as well. Don't say yes too fast, like really think about it before you commit so you don't put too much on your plate. And then also you can say, well, I'm sorry, I know I said yes yesterday, but, you know, I thought about it and I I have to decline. I have to say no today. And no is, by the way, a full sentence. So making choices, being aware that you have these opportunities to decide, to choose each and every moment to choose your emotions, to choose your thoughts, to choose your actions, you always have a choice. And if you feel like, Christine, that's like total BS, I don't have a choice, right? I'm struggling right now, I don't get new customers in the door, I'm totally stressed, that is a choice as well. Even though if you might not like that I tell you that, but it is a choice. 
So when you really not thriving at the moment, when it really feels hard for yourself, think of what you can do to uplift you. Think of what you can do. And there's so many things that don't even cost anything. Going for a walk in nature, calling one of your friends that always uplifts you and makes you laugh. You know, just little stuff you can do, like maybe getting yourself some flowers, doing a breathing exercise, meditating, journaling, right? It's all those little things that add up, going into gratitude that will support you and help you to make a new choice. And when you make that new choice, your energy will change, your state will change, and you know, your thoughts are changing, your emotions are changing, and your actions are changing. And all of a sudden, you are on a totally different level than you were before. So I want to really invite you today to be aware of the tool that you can make a new choice, a new decision each and every moment in your life, no matter where you are right now, right? You can always make a new choice. And obviously, I would love for you to choose the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass that is running next week. We start May 15th because all these 20 amazing experts, authorities, international speakers, Emmy Award winners, best-selling authors, they made choices in their life. And those choices got them to where they are right now. And it could just be the choice that you changed your attitude for the day that if you have too many bad days in your life, you just choose to not have those days anymore and to tune into a frequency that uplifts you. So hop on over to christineschlonsky.com, sign up for the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass, and I'm so excited to see you there and provide you with this amazing content and value so you can really receive spiritual and practical steps to increase your sales and create true wealth without losing your authenticity. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for making the choice to listen. I so appreciate you and I hope you're having the best day wherever you are in this beautiful world. And bye for now. Mm -hmm.